So John Boyega is in the news again, telling Disney how he feels and uh, not really holding back any words this time. He's trended a couple of times over the past year, voicing his opinion on this subject. This time, though, he really nails them. I really love that he does this, too, because it really exposes the lies of Disney's Star Wars. Because let's be clear about something. If you didn't like The Last Jedi, what's the biggest complaint that people say about you? It's that you're some kind of istifo. Oh, well, you just don't like you just don't like POC in a Star Wars movie. Now, what's funny about this is Disney practically treated all of their POC as background props. They might have marketed the movie as them being something special. And and he directly calls this out in that interview, by the way, about how in The Force Awakens, they actually marketed him holding lightsaber. Like, I went into that movie thinking he was going to be a, a Jedi. And I still think that would have been a more interesting story than what we got. Because think about it. You had a stormtrooper who kind of broke his conditioning. And he turns out he's force sensitive. And now he's rising up to, you know, take out the Empire or whatever. First Order, whatever. Same thing, to be honest. They just changed it to make it different. That would have been a pretty cool story, but we didn't get that. But they sure did market it that way, didn't they? I mean, they they pretty much didn't do anything with him. And what they do with him in The Last Jedi? Oh, they gave him and Rose Tico a side plot that really did not matter at all. It didn't matter at all. At the, end of the, at the end of the day for that movie. It was just to give them something to do. They really didn't get any character development at all. They treated them like pretty much props. And then, I mean, you could go even further with this and look at how they were marketed in China, especially him, what, what they did to him on the poster, how they shrunk him down and they made his skin blue and stuff. Disney doesn't give a damn about diversity, okay? So I, I always found it hilarious when people defend these movies, I just don't like diverse characters. I like characters that are fleshed out and well-written, not characters that are used as background props so that they can say that they've hit check marks, which is all they've done. They don't champion diversity. They're nothing but a bunch of hypocrites. So I've always found that humorous when people stand on that point and say that, oh, oh, these movies are so great because they're so diverse. No, they're not. <laughs> no, no, they're not at all. Just because the characters are there, they don't do anything with them. Ray, or Finn is such a wasted character who could have really been something in those movies. And that's the truth. And they wasted him. They wasted him on Ray and Kylo Ren. I actually had to pause the video because I forgot Kylo Ren's name for a second because the character is so damn forgettable. All of the characters in the Disney Star Wars trilogy are forgettable. It's the fact. The movies are a mess. They don't make any sense. The story is incoherent. They suck. And the biggest highlight that people said about these movies is how diverse they are when they were anything but. They were lies. Look what they did in Rise of Skywalker when the two when the two women kissed. What did they do when they put those in other countries? They cut that right out. And it was so funny to watch all of the outlets champion it as some groundbreaking moment. None of them ever pointed out that in other countries they cut that scene right out all of these people all of these people are hypocrites so let's go over the stuff he said Ichibaka put a good article together covering the highlights of the GQ article because the G- the GQ article is very very long and it's not all about Star Wars so I'm going to go over some of the stuff that he says here because it's pretty interesting so so here are the more interesting parts. He continued to notice a stylist he'd hired when he first started doing press, cringing at certain clothes I wanted to go for. The hairdresser who had no experience on working with hair like his, but still had the guts to pretend. And he decided that he could no longer grin and bear it like a grateful competition winner during the press of The Force Awakens. I went along with it, he notes. And obviously at the time, I was generally happy to be part of it. But my dad always tells me one thing, don't overpay with respect. You can pay respect, but sometimes you'll be overpaying and selling yourself short. It's so difficult to maneuver, he says. You get yourself involved in projects and you're not necessarily going to like everything. But what I would say to Disney is do not bring out a black character, market them to be much more important in the franchise than they are, and then have them pushed to the side. It's not good. I'll say it straight up. 
He's talking about himself here, about the character of Finn the Stormtrooper, who wielded a lightsaber in the first film before being somewhat nudged out. But he's also talking about other people of color in the cast, uh, being Oscar Isaac, Kelly Marie Tran, and Naomi Aki. And it, that's funny. These are these are really good points, and they're justified. Now, you could say, well, he wanted to be higher up in the character. He, he wished he was a little more entitled. Look, anybody who watched Force Awakens probably thought Finn was going to be a major character. In the, I thought he was. I thought he was going to be a major character in the films. And I liked Finn. I thought he was funny. Uh, I would have been fine with that. But what did they do in The Last Jedi? They pushed him off to some stupid casino subplot that didn't matter at all. And that was it. He was no longer a main character. And then they brought him back in the third film. And they just kind of had him there. He was there as a sidekick almost. And that was that. Everybody thought he was going to be a Jedi. And he wasn't. He just got Ray, Lovely Ray. And then that Naomi woman, she was in Rise of the Skywalker. And if you remember, she was actually Lando's long-lost daughter. And you don't even find out about that unless you read some stupid book you had to pay $10 for. But what happened in the trailers and in all of the marketing, they put these characters way up there like they're going to be amazing and really essential to the plot. And what are they? They're literally background props. So they can say, well, <laughs> this is modern Star Wars. Of course we have all of these POC. Well, very progressive. Please come see our movies. They're just there. They don't do anything with them. He's 100% right. Disney and all these other big progressive companies and Hollywood entertainment places, they're all a bunch of hypocrites. And it's really funny that none of these outlets that praise these movies ever brought this point up. Other people did. The ones that they were calling istophobes did. They never did, though. They never did, though. It's all about a numbers game with these people. They don't care about plot. They don't care about character development. All they care about is if you have this character and this character with this trait or this color in it, that's all they care about. They don't care about anything else. And it's, it's stupid. Okay. John Blake is right. He's right here. I don't disagree with him at all. So he says he feels they suffer the same treatment. And he acknowledged that some people will say he's crazy or making it up, but the recorded character hierarchy of the last Jedi was particularly hard to take. And he goes on to say here, that, you know, Daisy and Adam, they were pretty much the focus of the film. I don't disagree with him there either. I would have rather had a different, <laughs> I would have rather had a, any movie but The Last Jedi. But I think there's a lot of stuff that he's saying here is true. And I like that he's calling out, I love actually that he's calling out this garbage. Because it's, he should have said something a long time ago. I, it would have brought more attention to it. Maybe we could have got a better Rise of Skywalker maybe. But, you know, I don't know what you do. This, the Disney Star Wars movies suck. But I like that he's calling this out. And it's very funny to me. And it's trending today. And all these people are going to agree with it. I can't believe I never noticed it. Such a joke at this point. But I'm glad he's saying it. I like Disney feeling the burn. I hope uh, they feel that heat. And uh, they deserve it. Because they've done nothing but absolutely fracture the fan base. And destroy the brand that so many people have loved. Anyway, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about all of this. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Tell me why. I'd like to hear it in the comments. Also, throw a like up, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.